Welcome to part three of the three-part video series on NASDAQ Total View. This series is brought to you by Sterling Trading Tech in partnership with NASDAQ. In parts one and two, we explored what Total View has to offer and how to customize Sterling Trading Pro to take full advantage of the data. Part three will take an in-depth look at the net order imbalance monitor with NASDAQ Total View and the intelligence it provides for trading and viewing the auctions. Total View provides access to all trading auctions on NASDAQ, including market open, market close, IPOs, and market halts. Specifically, exchange operating, opening, and closing crosses are becoming increasingly more important to this market. This is being fueled by passive investing and traders seeking to execute large block trades. Market on close orders are becoming one of the more frequently used order types on the street as funds look to execute at the official market closing price. Auction at the close alone accounts for approximately about 6% of daily traded volume. This large liquidity pool at the close frequently means that larger traded orders are being executed then rather than throughout the day. According to some market experts, such as Greenwich Associates, the use of market on open and market on close orders increased from 5% to 14% in a two-year period from 2014 to 2016. Where can you get access to this market intelligence? Would transparent, indicative pricing in the auction help you make smarter trading decisions? The net order imbalance indicator shows you all of this and more. Can you afford not to take advantage of it? First, let's access the net order imbalance monitor using Sterling Trader Pro, the most widely used professional trading platform in the industry for trading equities, options, and futures. If it's not already part of your layout, you can go to the main toolbar to Windows, Quotes, and Imbalance Monitor. From this window, you can adjust the settings, specifically the column you want to view by going to View, followed by Settings. You can ensure the clear price, reference price, and pair quantity are all visible. Furthermore, you can click and drag the columns to place them in the order you want them to be displayed. The first column states the time to show the open and close imbalances for the day. As you may know, in this window, blue indicates buy and red indicates sell. To filter the window for a specific symbol, go to View and select Symbol Bar. Once you see the symbol bar appear, you can type in a symbol. To view multiple symbols as a filter, check the Multiple Symbols checkbox to the right of the symbol field and then click the Symbol List button to the right of the checkbox. Here, you can make and save a symbol list. To remove the filter, click again on the Symbol List button and click Remove All and then hit OK to return back to the full list. One final quick tip to easily view imbalances by stock is in the Level 2 window, as Sterling users may already know. From the Level 2 window, go to View and select Expanded Quote Bar. A new row is now added just above the bid and ask pricing showing the current imbalance, regulatory imbalance, clear price, and open price for the selected symbol shown in the level two window. One less helpful tool is the exchange alerts window. This can be accessed from the main toolbar by going to windows, then quotes, and select exchange alerts. From this window, you can also, just like the imbalance monitor window, select one symbol or select multiple symbols and make a symbol list, then checking NASDAQ as the selected exchange. Any alert to arise would then populate here for the selected symbols. Thank you for watching part three of the three-part series on NASDAQ Total View. For more information about Total View, please visit business.nasdaq.com forward slash total view. And for more information about Sterling Trading Tech, please visit www.sterlingtradingtech.com.